Hey everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. I have with me Priscilla today. Uh, first thing I want to do is thank Priscilla. I need to thank all the people who help with these videos because um, they do a great job at helping to educate everybody out there. And so thank you very much, Priscilla. I really appreciate you doing this. Um, I've known Priscilla for a very long time. We actually rehabbed her for a re rotator cuff repair um, not all that long ago. But recently, um, about three weeks ago, she fell while going up a, a, a slight incline and fell directly onto the shoulder, right? Correct. And dislocated it. Yes. Ended up in the emergency department. Yes. And they reduced it. They put it back in place. They did. Had a hard time getting it back in. Yes, they did. Had a yeah. hard time. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then at that point was placed into a sling for how long? A couple weeks. About two weeks, okay. Um, and she's here to see me today. And um, basically to start to regain some motion, see if we can activate that shoulder a little bit. But I want to show you her presentation here and just kind of talk about, you know, what we're finding and kind of the direction that we're going to head in. So, um, how are you feeling right now standing here? Do you have any pain? No pain at the moment. No pain at the moment. How well are you sleeping at night? Very good. Okay. So, she's not getting a lot of discomfort with this, but we're not getting a lot of function out of it either, are we? No function. Okay. So, let's, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ask you, and I've already evaluated her, so we've gone through a lot of other things, like cervical spine clearing is fine. She has no paresthesia down into the arm. The rest of her arm is looking, looking good, feeling great. Okay. So, first of all, can you try to lift your arm straight up in front of you toward the camera? Okay. That's it. So, she has about 15 degrees of flexion and back down. Now, can you lift your arm out to the side? Okay, obviously she's having a hard time getting that arm off the side, okay? So we have to be somewhat concerned that she tore her rotator cuff. In my opinion, she probably has a massive rotator cuff tear because she's not having a lot of pain with it. Massive tears seem to hurt a lot less than partial tears that continue to tear at itself, okay? And so I'm going to take her through some passive range of motion just to show you that her arm isn't frozen. Okay, and when she's on the table, actually, we have about 170 degrees of flexion. Just a little bit harder when she's standing. You feeling okay? Yep. All right. So passively, I can get her right up there and relax that shoulder. All right. So we're getting it right up there. So she's got some decent motion there. As far as external rotation, offers, you know, some, some real good motion. Internally rotates to her belly really well. And then I'm going to abduct her and let that shoulder just drop. Let me do all the work. Okay, so we have passive range of motion. So she's not frozen by any means. Um, as far as her infraspinatus goes, I'm gonna have you hold right there. Don't let me push your hand in toward your belly. Hold tight, push, 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 push. She gives me some decent resistance, so looks like she has some pretty good integrity there. Now pull it in toward your belly. Belly press test, I want you to hold it there. Don't let me pull it away. She gives me some resistance there. I'm gonna have you hold up here also. So the bear hug test. I want you to hold it there. Don't let me pull it away from you. And she offers some good resistance there too. So subscapularis and infraspinatus are looking pretty good. Um, but I'm really suspicious that she might have, you know, some pretty involved supraspinatus tearing going on here. Um, what we did today for her therapy is we started on just some isometrics in a neutral position. So we placed her here. We asked her to hold, not to let me push it in, not to let me pull it out. We did that several times. We even put her on her back and put her into this position right here. We did all four positions isometrically, did well with that. Um, and we're just gonna try to start activating her deltoids also and uh, to see if we can get those deltoids to help out a little bit. We had her do some bicep curls. She did some bent over rows and did that very well. Um, so we're gonna work around this. We're gonna make sure that she doesn't freeze up. So we're gonna continue to work on shoulder flexion, gentle internal external rotation, work on some isometrics, start to work on some isotonics and try to get her to start to work against gravity a little bit. Um, but right now we're just gonna go at this nice and easy and see if we can turn that on. Sometimes the rotator cuff is just inflamed 
and not able to activate very well. So we're gonna see if that's the situation and if it comes along, great icing on the cake. If she does not respond, then an MRI is in order um, to identify you know, if this is a rotator cuff yeah. tear or something else um, and, um, and what direction we go in at that time. But in the meantime, let's keep you moving and let's get some muscles turned on and let's see how you do, all right? So, Sounds like a plan. All right, so if you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. And if you like today's video, please give us a thumbs up and uh, feel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks.